Alright guys, so welcome back. This is going to be a quicker tutorial. Right here is our Anime Sim Kit 2. As you can see right here. Um, it's pretty cool. In this video, I want to show you guys how to make this currency UI. This is like an enemy style and I think uh, anime style UIs are quite popular. So if you guys are wondering how you can make stuff like this, I will show you. Anyways, without wasting time, let us begin. Now, um, first of all, we're going to use our pencil to create our main shape, which is going to be this part. So we go color white, uh, just pencil, shape up here, fill, white, stroke, none. And then I'm just going to click, create this little um, inset shape right here, angle up, across, up, and we're going to close the shape just like this All right and the color is gonna be 1b 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 okay perfect next I'm gonna add a halftone pattern uh, you could just google halftone pattern PNG and you can find one just like this right here um, it's not difficult but uh, I'm gonna go right click create mask and then we go control I to invert the colors control T Rotate just like so, as you can see. We're gonna have like right here, I guess. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna go eraser, All right? Rasterize, give this like a nice fading effect. Okay, let me adjust this a little bit. <laughs> this is better. Okay, now I'm gonna um, copy by holding Alt, drag a new one. Control T, right click, flip vertical, and also flip horizontal. We're gonna have this up here. All right, next we have this uh, colored part portion. And actually, um, later on, if you guys want, you can really add a gradient. Oops, to UI like this. You know, some like cool effects. But uh, we can obviously try this out later. But uh, for the color, it's very simple. Just copy a new shape under. You go Control T, and simply rotate like this. Okay, just gonna rotate, and then and then we're gonna change the color. So we could go for any color. We go for like a nice little teal, mint kind of color here. Boom. And lastly, another layer. We're gonna go for a black color. Move this down, and then uh, change the color to black. So as you can see, here is our final shape, looking pretty good. Um, you know, you could really do some fancy effects if you want. Like, we can make this glow, for example. We don't have to, but you know, if you want, right? This could work. Um, if you like that. Okay, now we are going to uh, take a look at how we can import this UI. Now the button here, we can make this inside of uh, Studio, so I'm not concerned. But uh, to export our shape, let me group all this up and make a copy. So here is our export. Uh, we're going to make the all of these white, all right? They all have to be uh, white. Um, because we don't want the uh, color to be fixed in the image. So all these are going to be white. Okay, we're going to start with the main shape. Uh, take off the texture. Right click and export right here. Okay, so for example, uh, currency underscore, we call this main. Okay, the next one is the color. Uh, currency under, underscore color. And lastly is the shadow. Take off the uh, glow. And for the effects, we're going to copy it out. Okay. And uh, control click on the shape it belongs to. And then we're going to go inverse and backspace. This will cut it out like so. The, uh, the excess parts. And then we're going to go control U. And saturation down. Lightness up. Okay, we're going to have this. Copy. 
merge so it has a full opacity. Right click, export. Lastly, we have the texture. So I'm going to merge, copy it out. Control I to uh, invert, so swipe. I'm going to copy again. Merge, control click on the shape, our main shape, that is. Okay, inverse, and we're just going to go backspace. So here is our texture. I'm going to go export. Now uh, we're going to hop into Studio. So I will see you guys in there. I have spent hundreds of hours making these videos and also designing products for you guys. If you are a creator who is serious about their dreams and goals in creating game projects, or if you are a creative and a designer as well, who is looking to make a career out of designing, then you will appreciate these design resources I have created. If you're building an anime inspired game, well, we have interface kits just for that. If you want a free sample, you can get the preview bundle completely for free. So if you are serious, then check it out with the link below or gfxcomment.com. If you are not serious, these are not for you and you can ignore this message. All right, I hope you guys enjoy this video. All right, guys, so here we are. Um, this is the anime sim kit too, as you can see. Um, just, uh, building this UI in the same place just for continuity but uh yeah as you can see I have made a tutorial on making this frame right here which is pretty incredible uh so we'll go ahead and check it out if you want let's get on with the uh, video okay so we have a HUD with a canvas so basically all that is it's basically a screen GUI with a frame canvas and then uh, anchor fit background off and scale uh, I have to restart my studio it has like this clipping error okay I'm back uh, so basically yeah our canvas and then we're gonna start creating our <laughs> our amazing uh, currency UI here so if we take a look at the uh, anatomy of this uh, UI here, we can see we have main, shadow, all these things all consisted in uh, the main frame here. Right, so let me try to think. Okay, so here's how we're gonna make this, I believe. Let's go for a frame. We're gonna call this our, I don't know, call it anything you want. Currency, for example. Yeah, okay. So 390 by 84. Um, is that right? Yeah, it is. Okay. So here is currency. Okay, inside of here, we're going to add image. This is going to be our main. And then, okay, copy, copy ID. Let's go paste. <laughs> Didn't work. There we go. Okay, background off, scale. Let's background off here so we can actually see this. So if I recall, the background is 1B, 1B, 1B. No, it has to be image color. What's in my doing? Okay. There we go, inside of main. Um, I have the texture inside of main. Yeah. So inside of main, we're gonna have texture. Hold on, let's just bring it here. So you can see the um, comparison. Uh, texture, this will uh, just be fit. Back and off. Yeah. Anchor scale. Let's go for texture, PC, and then change color. Okay, pretty cool. Uh, next, we're gonna have the color. Color, 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 color. Okay, copy and then paste. Uh, let me grab the size. Boom, boom, boom. It's just slightly larger, but uh, I'm gonna keep this like here for now we're gonna fix that we're gonna fix the uh, hierarchy in a second but uh next for us is gonna be shadow and copy and then face anchor the size is 84 off let's go for scale and then let's go for it okay so i'm gonna cut the color 
and paste it on top. Cut the main and paste it on top. All right, now we have this. In shadow, we have to move this, if you recall. It is slightly offset. So, five, nope, too low. Not enough. And then uh, X.55. That's way too much. 0.15. Uh, let's go lower slightly. That's pretty good. I think it's fine. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, anyways, <laughs> as for the color, we can make this a gradient if you want to make it more interesting. So, gradient right here. And then we go for like a nice teal like we had earlier. I like that. And then over here as well. It's a nice, beautiful color. Yes. yes. Okay. Is that good? Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, let's go close. And yeah, we are doing pretty good. Uh, for the main, like I said, we can make this a gradient if you make it white and add a gradient. Okay, we can basically try something here. Let's check it out. Nah, I don't like that. Yeah, nah. I'm just gonna have this. That's good enough. Okay, lastly for the button, uh, very simple. So here we're gonna uh, add a frame. This will be 35 by 35. Well, actually, you should probably add image button. Uh, so I'm going to go convert real quick. Back on off. We go fast scale with the aspect ratio constraint. This will be our add. A scale for frame. This will be main. Okay. We go fit parent. Scale. And basically, it's just corner gradient stroke. Okay. So I'm going to copy. It's right here. So corner point. 25 gradient we're gonna fix the color uh we can literally copy our gradient here and paste it oops wrong one uh color paste and change the angle uh there we go okay and yeah uh stroke very simple black stroke and then we have the text we can paste in here and as you guys can see um, obviously you can add the icon and text um, the icons are from our vector icon pack I will be resuming updates soon I have just been so busy anyways I hope you guys enjoy this video on how to make this anime currency UI I hope this helps because uh, the style is quite popular still check our store once more <laughs> It's quite important. Anyways, I will see you guys next time. Peace out.